I'm Alan Carter and I'm here today to introduce one of Australia's leading outdoor artists, Stephen Mann, and his new DVD. In this groundbreaking three and a half hour DVD, Stephen will show you step by step how to paint in oils as he paints an original artwork of epic proportions on location at Little Manly, just outside Sydney. Stephen has over 35 years experience as an outdoor artist and freely shares everything he's learned over those years. With over 25 solo exhibitions completed and winning more than 20 awards for his artworks, Stephen's considerable knowledge and understanding of painting in oils is second to none. In the DVD, you will learn tips, tricks and techniques that are a blueprint to create your own masterpieces. This DVD is a life's worth of lessons in just one session. Whether you're a beginner or an accomplished artist, you're going to learn heaps of stuff. So enjoy this wonderful workshop. Anyway, without further ado, here's the man himself. This canvas here is about a five and a half foot by four and a half foot and it's a big canvas so what we'll do we'll show you the paints this is all Windsor and Newton paint I'm using this big brush so it saved me a lot of time so when I get my palette knife going I'll be able to put the detail in with the palette knife and I'll get this bit of wash here and on the bottom of the sky over that I'm going to wash it like this I'm going to give it a wash of that yellow ochre so it gets rid of all the canvas for me and it brings in that misty look what I'm looking at on the horizon there lovely rich tones they are look at them see it's good to do this in palette night when you do it in palette night get, get these undertones painted in I've done a bit of washing I'm not going to wash this I'm going to palette knife this straight on but I'm going to go back to that first and start palette knifing that because it gives me a boundary or to where I'm going. This is where the painting starts to shine. There's going to be buildings there, but there's a bit of that green foliage, so we better put it in now before we put the buildings in, because once you get the buildings in, you, they overlap sort of thing. You can't go back to the green after that. And the light's turning over this side, so we'll cut in on there a little bit, like that. And it comes down here too, like that. I'm going to suggest very quickly and swiftly the boats. Just a couple of strikes first. So we can uh, get some boats going and, and always put a little reflection in there. Just to show nature, you're with nature. I'll put all the bottoms in first the bottoms of the boats and they're all facing the one way with the current it's every time they're always the same make it as simple as we possibly can for these and as the boats get closer to you obviously you make them a little bit bigger make sure you keep it level with the top That little spot there made a difference there because you can't not have a shadow if it's supposed to be there. This is the largest painting I've ever done on location by far. It is an impression painting, an impressionist painting. And this is what art's all about. Art is about you going out interpreting nature, if you can, to the best of your ability. This is what I've tried to do on this large painting. I think I've got the feeling of the place where it is and everything. And it's used a lot of paint. It's uh, a good canvas. It should be around for a long time to come. When it gets on the wall and you stand back and look at it in your living room, you can more or less keep the lights 
in there because you've got a, the powerful lights that a, a nature painting gives you. There's a nice bit of light leaving the headland at the end there, at the back, and a nice bit of silhouette um, buildings going on there, which will show up nicely in the afternoon when it's resting in someone's home. I'd like to thank you for joining me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.